Welcome to the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. Happy New Year. It's been way too long. We've been super busy, but we have some exciting news to share with you. We've been developing a new tool for the DevOps community that we've codenamed Addy, short for Automated Declarative Data Engine. Addy, when installed on a GitHub repository containing JSON or YAML, will automatically generate fully documented REST and GraphQL APIs, as well as PowerShell modules for interacting with the data. It also automatically detects the schema, helping you ensure and enforce consistency with validation checks on every pull request. It's perfect for making the data that's not a great fit for configuration management easily accessible and version controlled. Think about the information your teams typically share by passing around a spreadsheet or JIRA tickets. We're positive this can help teams save time by automating things they usually wouldn't be able to. To fund Addy's development and infrastructure while still keeping it accessible, we've decided to make it available for any of our supporters that pledge $10 or more a month. As always, thank you so much for your ongoing continued support. We really couldn't do this for all of you without the rest of you supporting us. Now on to the fun part. When we were getting ready to set up Addy's production infrastructure, we suddenly had an idea. What better way to learn DevOps than to see how to deploy an entire SaaS environment from scratch? And that's how this course came about. We're going to literally set up everything live with you. The planning, architecture, CICD pipelines, deployments, automated testing, all of it. At the end of this course, we'll deploy safely multiple times per day to a secure Kubernetes cluster, including monitoring, instrumentation, and even more. Not only that, Addy will also be production ready. We've set up a Discord server here at the link below, and while we won't have time to be active 100% of the time, we're going to try to respond as soon and whenever we can. Who knows, maybe we'll even live stream some of it for you. Well, what do you think? Are you ready to get started? Let's go. The first thing we need to do is figure out our technical and business requirements. That way, we can use them as a guide during decision making. On the technical side, both the front and back end applications for Addy are all written in TypeScript. They're stateless, but because the back end takes a while to start and cache repositories, it's not an ideal fit for serverless. From a business standpoint, here are our top priorities. We want to be able to deploy safely multiple times per day to add business value quickly without impacting our customers. We also want to minimize operational overhead as we don't have the budget for a dedicated SRE team. We also want to minimize expenses while being able to scale if and when needed. And lastly, we just want to go above and beyond security best practices. While security should be a core focus for any company, it's crucial for us given that Addy will be used to create APIs for customers to access their own data. Given that we want to deploy multiple times per day and that our applications are already containerized, we've decided that Kubernetes would be the best fit. While it is more complex to configure up front, it will significantly simplify our deployments. That brings us to our next question. Where should we host our Kubernetes cluster? We know we can rule out deploying on-premises or to a colo, as the operational overhead is far too high. That leaves the cloud. We could use Amazon's EKS, Azure's AKS, Google's GKE, DigitalOcean, or even spin up our own cluster from scratch using COPS, KubeSpray, or something similar. Given our team has the most experience with AWS, we narrowed down our choice to AWS or DigitalOcean. When looking at pricing at the time of this video, Amazon charges $72 per month for the EKS control plane versus DigitalOcean starting at $10. While DO's pricing is substantially lower, we decided to go with EKS for a few reasons. One, our expertise is much higher with AWS. We know which tools and services we want to use, and we can move faster by leveraging that knowledge. Secondly, we want to make this course relevant to as many of you watching as possible, and at this point in time, DigitalOcean's market share is unfortunately minimal. Lastly, we want the flexibility of utilizing Amazon's other services, and we really aren't interested in adding the complexity of a hybrid cloud strategy. 
Well, we've now decided where we're going to host it, but we still have so many other decisions to make. So in our next episode, stick with us because we're going to decide on our tooling for CICD, ticket management, version control, and even more. So go ahead and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions, as well as what you'd like to see next. We're really happy to hear and see you with us now. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. Happy New Year, and we'll see you again soon.